Io sono arrivata al Centro Maria Letizia Verga nel 2019 e perché mia figlia Chiara si era ammalata di leucemia nel 2017. Quando sono arrivata ho avuto una ottima impressione perché questo centro è un, un ospedale che non sembra un ospedale perché è un ambiente colorato, grande, e pulito che dà la sensazione di essere in un centro in cui eh, i bambini possono continuare ad essere bambini, non solo pazienti. The Comitato Maria Letizia Verga was funded by parents who unfortunately lost their daughters, Maria Letizia Verga. They built a center fully dedicated to research, care and assistance to children and adolescents with leukemia and hematological disorders. The concept of the alliance between parents, physicians and nurses was a pillar idea since its birth. Durante tutti gli anni di terapia poi ho avuto dei colloqui sia con la dottoressa Balduzzi che con, le, con gli altri medici che mi hanno sempre tenuto informato su quello che stava accadendo. Sicuramente eh, l'alleanza si esplicita in, una grande, eh, in un grande senso di protezione. 1985, the first bone marrow transplant took place in Monza and our pediatric transplant unit was born. Since then, more than 900 hematopoietic stem cell transplantations were performed. 90% of them allogeneic. Nowadays, 60% of our donors are unrelated donors. We have a very strong donor search unit. Main indication for transplant is acute lymphoblastic leukemia in pediatrics. The vast majority of the ALL patients are transplanted in second remission after relapse. Between 5 and 10% of our patients in the transplant unit are transplanted for hemoglobinopathies and inborn error diseases. For the majority of patients affected by sickle cell disease, no donor can be found, but they can be eligible for an haplotransplant within the control trial. For those patients who are refractory relapsed and cannot be treated by conventional treatment, treatment with chimeric antigen receptor cells is offered. Beside the current uh, uh, commercial product of CAR T cells, we are able today to provide CAR CIK CD19 cells for the treatment of patients with B-cell precursor acute lymphoblastic leukemia relapsed up after bone marrow transplantation with uh, particular improved propensity to, uh, to kill the tumor but not the normal tissue of the, of the patient. Having a pediatric dedicated laboratory is of pivotal importance and I think that in our center the statement from bench to bedside and from bedside to bench is a true reality. I'm in charge for the, mainly for the molecular diagnostic of the patient, in particular for a patient with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. The genetic passport is to identify different aberrances and diagnosis that could stratify patients in different arms of the protocol and the follow-up of the patient, so the, the actual response in vivo of the patient. During this process, month by month, we can adapt the treatment to the patients. One third of our patients are referred to our transplant center from other Italian centers or from abroad. Since the 80s, a global outreach program was run in our center. We started a project in Iraq Kurdistan where actually more than 50 pediatric patients with thalassemia has been transplanted and more than 20 oncological ones. Then we moved in Paraguay for doing the same project and now we are working in Guatemala. After transplantation, the return to a healthy life with good quality of life is a long process. Tommaso Morigi, who had the great idea of setting up a precision exercise program in our center. I'm a survivor of blood cancer. I made the transplant uh, 31 years ago. I always thinking to going back here to do something for this kind of patient. Sport therapy is a precision-based exercise program 
for children during intensive phases of cancer treatment. It's important for these children because it impacts the quality of life, the health and the social inclusion of these children and for their families. I'm proud of our transplant team. Side by side, we work together with the research lab, the diagnostic lab, the cell factory, and our parents' association, which supports us for the last 40 years. The Comitato Maria Letizia Verga is planning to double the space of research. Only through research, we can achieve a better cure, and more important, to have one child more cure for the disease.